is favored to do very well tonight, so that upset hopefully will not deter him uh, throughout the rest of the night. Yeah, we've got we've got tons of fantastic players. True. Uh, oh, oh, or it's Kyle, I believe. So or no, this is this is Gummy. Yeah, Gummy. So actually, he is Gummy's the person Tennessee. from Tennessee, number yeah. ten in Tennessee. Number ten in Tennessee. Okay, I was wondering who where the ranking was there, but I heard Gummy was from Tennessee. And yep. I'm very excited. Is he the only Tennessee player here tonight? I am not sure. He's. Uh, I'm not, sure. not if I mean we'll, I'm sure we'll find out uh, at some point. Maybe there's uh, some Tennesseans uh, in chat. Hopefully you can all get the hype up for your boy Gummy. There are uh, someone said because they're like uh, someone said it. <laughs> he's number eight. Oh, he's in number Tennessee, eight. But then they're like, no, actually, oh, I'm okay, number okay. eight. I'm he's number eight. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So he's, uh, yes, Gummy is number ten in New in, uh, Tennessee, which is very interesting. I'm very excited. We'd love to see uh, some crossover between other regions, especially against players we never get to see. And Crom player, we have uh, another Crom player here in Kyle. Oh, Gummy um, and Strip. So, yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, and this is gonna be, uh, yeah, Stretch on the Lucina, so not the Mark. So, Fire Emblem fight here, and again, these are the two consistent uh, of their of their pairs. Yeah, there's, they don't have to worry about their sword that much. Exactly, um, no tippers, no hilters, nothing like that. Just straight up sword play. Now, now Gummy, uh, Gummy earlier on stream played Joker, uh, and then went to Chrom after. Okay. Um, cool. Cool. I think Chrom is the secondary, but uh, interesting. Was able to was able to make it work. I mean, I definitely agree that this could be a really good pick for him. If he's if he's thinking like Chrom is going to be um, the pick against Lucina, maybe or or either Lucina or Mars, perhaps yes. both. Um, this character has some great kill power that Lucina, unfortunately, just doesn't Not match right. up to, right? Yeah, and another thing that helped Chrom a lot is just to confirm with stab back air. Yep. Um, Lucina doesn't quite have confirms like that. You can get things out of, like, down tilt, down smash, um, but Lucina honestly just fishes for back air a little more. Back air, uh, forward smash. Um, some strong edge guarding. Right. What I thought was really interesting there, in an offstage situation, because Krom is so fast in the air, he was able to overtake Lucina and then start his upbeat in time so he didn't secure his recovery. Absolutely. That's the thing. This character, while offstage, very vulnerable, we know, especially against a character with a counter like Lucina. But this power, the trading ability of this character, you cannot underestimate. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, unless you're... He's got a really strong projectile game, or unless you're able to really exploit Chrom's recovery, he's a terrifying character. I know. Um, such a strong ability to combo. Um, he has that confirmed with jab back air, uh, and then he he has that the bubble theory sort of applies to him. You know? He's got he's got a, a kit that that mirrors Mark and Lucina and is able to cover so much space around him and stay stay really safe. Speaking of bubbles. Uh, you can see Stretch trying to get a bubble to pop here, and that is the shield look for the shield breaker there. But this pressure on ledge, forcing out the counter, that's going to be a punish in the making. Yeah, the drop down back air will definitely do it. Um, Lucina back air is still remarkably strong. I mean, that's how they like to kill. But they're getting out of each other's side beats, which is really good. They know how to DI those kind of things. Yeah. Uh, these two characters have the weaker side Bs out of the, the four, um, but they still have their their, their place in the kit. Particularly Krom. Krom is insane. Yeah. Um, if you're able to get that fourth hit with Krom, um, you can <laughs> say your prayers. It, it will it will hurt. Yeah. Krom loved doing that at ledge. Uh, yep. And the angles, knowing that you can go for the upper angles, uh, middle hits to secure yourself Ooh. if they're going for the eye. But you look at the call out. The backer almost enough to kill. That is enough to kill, technically, yeah. Yeah, technically. <laughs> so, let's see how Stretch turns this around. For um, Trump, potentially? Yeah, possibly. I mean, Lucina does have a very consistent back air kill out of Trump. We call it, though. Doesn't need it, though. I like um, it, I like it. Call out to bring you the last thought, nice, right? Uh-oh. Trump definitely going for the, the back hit of up air, comboing into something else. Um, I love starting off with it. They're both trying to gather data on each other. They're figuring out these air dodges um, at a disadvantage. You see the falling up air becoming more and more popular these days. Ooh. That front hit box can definitely do a lot of work. Okay, still trying to go in with a down tilt, but uh, you can see uh, Lucina still has enough range to challenge very effectively. They're they're right evenly matched in terms of uh, space. Just wanted to go for a. a Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> they, they both follow each other off stage. Um, 
both of them knew the stakes there. Neither yeah. of them really wanted to uh, to lose out there because this is this is not the time for um, sure. the pressure. Switch text out of the jab back air. I like it, I like it. Oh, oh and he finds a high back air. Not kill. quite enough to kill. Say. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looked like it was tough, but he manages to scramble himself back with a nair tip. The neutral air will yeah, do it. Yeah, just the barely one. enough. Okay, the spacing was perfect there for stretch, and he takes game one. one. All right. Yeah. Sick, sick, sick. Oh. Usually we see Stretch go marked game one, but I guess uh, he went right out the gate with Lucina. Uh, yeah, I wonder if he knew. I don't know if he knew if he knew who's playing or what they were playing. Gummy was on stream earlier, Thanks and so. uh, but was he playing Crom on stream? Uh, game two, he did. Okay. So yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe he expected it. Oh, yeah. we're going Mark now. I mean, this could be. This could be it. I mean, maybe it's the inverse. Maybe he just needed to bring in the bring the uh, Lucina out to test the waters. And now Marth is like, okay, now I know that I need. Uh, that that little something and something extra, right? I need the extra guac here and in stretch, order to finish. You when off. it comes to Marth combo, Stretch is a lab monster. He's yeah. always in his in his own stream, uh, just labbing out what he can do. Um, so if anybody knows how to how to put this character to work, it is, it is Stretch. I believe he definitely has uh, has clipped some people uh, yeah. with with the Marth, and for good reasons. Character uh, win cooking. Uh, really, really heats it up. So I like it. I like it. I want to see what we got here. So far, the neutral uh, playing out to be about not even, but you can see these these gummy combos uh, looking pretty nice. Yeah, some very solid, consistent stuff from Gummy. Um, we're seeing more down air from uh, from Stretch. Mark down air is uh, pretty absurdly insane. Good. <laughs> it's absurdly good. It's insane. So the first match like game. Pyro down air. Yeah, it's the first match game. We'll really say like Mark down air is one of his uh, one of his better moves. Get that before hit of the side beam. You're gonna have to watch out. Yep, oh, the and the back air will do it. That was a sour back air too, but it's it's what it's, it's enough. enough. It's enough. It's enough. And you drifting there menacingly. Of course, back air uh, comes up on both sides of the coin. Yep. So now we're going to be bringing it to two stocks apiece. Again, these guys are back and forth, and this is exactly what I expected from. Uh, imagine with two very uh, fire emblem oh, characters. Oh, there right? we go. The down air F smash. Everybody love loves love seeing that. Sick. Everybody loves seeing that. Good stuff. Uh, Call out, but looking oh, for the force <laughs> match, okay? Yeah, so a little, Ballsy, uh, I like, oh. a little too close. Good call out though with the uh, the down smash, obviously covering both sides. That scoop. And the, the up smash scoop. People forget that the, the foot has a, a, has a pretty nice hitbox. Ooh, but there it is. You gotta watch out. He's looking for more Back here. Back hit him down air is not gonna be enough. Forward tilt will do it though. Of course, and knowing that uh, he finally got the timing right on the up. Yep. Exceptional play from Stretch. We'll see how Gummy uh, responds. I mean, just some just some more patient uh, ledge play, but eventually you're going to have to pull the trigger in a more substantive way, my guy. You're finally getting something here off the drop off through plat, but oh, the, the it's second hurt. jump, the second jump, is yeah. right there. Um, good, good angle, no jump. Obviously, good scenario there for Gummy. Oh, and the, the this is going to hurt too. Uh Yeah, this uh oh he 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 went for the one two three breathe oh or, no he dropped too far yeah, spacing out yeah I mean I like it to so go for the fastball just to like drop a little bit but I mean it's better to just fall naturally at that point you cannot risk it that right. fastball is so insane because you are crom uh yeah that yeah yeah I uh so I play Marth my buddy back home 